morning, ladies and gentlemen and ghouls and hellions. It's my birthday! The sun is out. It's my lunch break and I'm going to go and I'm going to splurge today. It's, it's, it's like my birthday. I'm going to grab lunch at this little Mexican restaurant that has really good Mexican food. It would have been funny if I had said seafood, huh? And then we're gonna go and I'm gonna probably stop by one of those stores and show you guys like an interesting store. Hopefully. It's a good day. It's my, have I told you guys it's my birthday? And the sun is shining. Mmm, dos enchilada con queso. Oh my gosh. I'm not done yet, but I just got through totally like woofing that down. And we're here at a store called uh, Third Rock Gifts. I totally don't think that the store is what I'm expecting it to be. It's funny, I'm totally. I was gonna say I'm totally into Halloween, so like everything right here is like really, really cool. <laughs> Those are our Winstone products, so once those are sold, there's not anymore. So what? Once those are sold, there's not anymore. That's the uh, there's uh, Winstone. Gosh, that is so cool. I'm going to wait on it, but that is so cool. Alright, so I did find some vampire's blood. <laughs> some more. And I want to compare prices to see uh, what Lori Lee paid for over at the other place. There you go. Third Rock Gifts. Um, <laughs> I, you know, a lot of people smoke marijuana. Um, I don't. Um, you know, it's everybody's personal choice, so I'm not going to speak out about it or anything like that because I really don't have an opinion. Um, but that's what the store is. <laughs> so that was kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, it's uh, they had pipes like all over the place and I'm like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. So I'll show you guys a brief uh, picture of the other places that I would like to visit. And we'll hit these in the next couple days. We've got this cool place right here that has all these statues. And then we've got an uh, antique store right there. And it looks like an old antique store. The store itself is antique. Ah! That's funny, but I'm sure it's not for sale. Anyway, all right, back to work. Off of work, headed home, and happy, and it's my birthday. And before you guys say, dude, you've already said it's your birthday like four times. Well, I haven't said it's my birthday for four hours. So maybe I'll just stop including it in the vlog. It's my birthday. Dinner. Birthday dinner! Thank you! Welcome. And before you guys ask, okay, she got me something, but you guys have already seen it. You already know what it is. What'd you get me? What'd you get me? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! Besides him, and he's great. Well, I gave you the night vision camera system for a birthday present. Yay! Thumbs up! Oh, that's so sweet. Because, guys, before she bought it, and, and she never said, uh, ooh. Right. Anyway, it was in storage and she basically just officially like gave it to me. My birthday present. That's so awesome. Yay. And da 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 What is that? A two pound deluxe fruit cake for dessert. That's your birthday cake. <laughs> fruit cake for my birthday. Fitting, right? <laughs> I wanna see what it looks like. I wanna see what it looks like too. Whoa. That's a pretty small banana. <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe you should open it. Okay, if you can't open it, you can't have it. Well, I don't want it opening it for you. I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> Look, it's a banana with two How is it? things. Oh, it comes in a tin. Squirrel! Mm-hmm. Pictures. <gasps> Behold the proverbial fruitcake. Actually, that's the physical fruitcake. Proverbial means that it's like perverted, right? Oops. Oh, oh, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Two pound of fruitcake. <sighs> Ow, 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 ow. 
<laughs> and look, scrap metal. So when it's all done, which it'll be gone in the next two days because it all goes right here. But uh, scrap metal when it's all done. So yay, double yay. <laughs> <laughs> two birthday presents in one. I can't remember if I vlogged this the other day or not. Phoenix can read this to you, but if I read this to you, I'm actually putting myself down. Wait. No, if I read this to him, because his dad is cooler than, no. My dad is cooler, oh yeah, if I say it to him. So if I say, my dad is cooler than your dad, that's a burn on me. Even though my dad is pretty freaking awesome, but you guys get my point. Whoa, it's a strip pizza. <laughs> Give me some ones, quick. <laughs> I think this will be soothing enough, it won't hurt my throat. Oh yeah, she's sick now, so I, I I, I'm the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> so anyway, what I want to say is, um, a while ago, uh, the outro with Keith saying, we've got a haunt. I wanted to have that like done by like a cartoonist with just like, you know, a bigger guy, hands in the air. Yes, Keith, that was a fat joke. And, um, and you know, the captions say, we've got a haunt. But since Keith isn't really around anymore and a lot of you guys aren't familiar with Keith, then, you know, it's like, eh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I want to ask you, what is something that we could put on a t-shirt kind of cartoonish? The only thing that I think that I'd say... Happy haunting. Well, okay, happy haunting. True. Touche. Uh, but, I mean, I say freaking awesome all the time. An epic. I say epic all the time. I still say that. Uh -huh. What do you say all the time? He, he could be like, ah! I say, wow. But yes, you do say, you say wow, squirrel, and shiny. Was it hard getting into that package? Yes. Was it really? <laughs> what? Oh, son of a... <laughs> it's okay, I'll chalk it up to you, not feeling good. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> and then blame <laughs> <on me. laughs> ah! I should have polled you guys first to ask you this, but I will ask you now. How many of you like to burn incense that smells good? Okay, the reason why I ask is because we are going to have a new product, um, and it's not ours, it's just something I'm reselling, but we're gonna have a new product uh, available <laughs> besides the shot glass, or along with the shot glasses, at West Coast Hunters Convention. We are gonna have vampire blood incense and this stuff smells really really good or else I wouldn't have like purchased it or whatever so this is really really outstanding that we have this I'm so happy about it look at it is that cool just ah vampire blood five bucks a box it's a pretty good price we make a dollar off of it so yeah uh, anyway so it, it's gonna be awesome so like pick up a couple of them because it, it's it's oh my gosh it really smells good it's not like the pugnant incense that, that they sell in like the Indian stores, although this is an Indian um, thing, uh, or it's imported from India. Uh, vampire blood is harvested through an advanced process in which vampires are slowly bled. The unearthly qualities of the blood are isolated and extracted into a premium incense. Some vampires were harmed during this process, but none met true death. This is a rare premium extract of vampire blood that is sure to heighten the senses and create inner sensations of nirvana. Enjoy. So, yeah, freaking awesome. Speaking of um, West Coast Honors Convention, um, I'm going to be talking about that more over the next week. Uh, you guys make sure that you get your tickets and everything. I'm getting specifics, although all the specifics are on uh, westcoasthuntersconvention.com. Um, I, I think that's a website. Uh, see, I don't know specifics yet. Uh, but anyway, I got to book, uh, book rooms. And after we book the rooms and get all of our confirmations done, then I'll go into more detail talking to you guys about it on like where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing, blah, blah, blah. The convention starts Thursday. I do know that because they're having a Rocky Horror Picture Show um, event at an old theater in uh, Portland. So that's really exciting. So, And I've never been to a Rocky Horror Picture Show, so we'll see what happens. It's like 11 o'clock. Lori Lee's lying down with the baby. I want my fruit cake. Mm. I went and I put two candles in it, and then I took, do you guys remember that from last year, from the other cake? <sighs> 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 
seafood cake. Oh my god, that's so quick. Let me get the chill start out. Alright. So Lori Lee's laying down with the baby. She doesn't know it. But we're gonna sing a very quiet happy birthday. <laughs> so there we go. Are you ready? Happy birthday to me. Okay. Let, no, let me. me. Fruitcake in March. <laughs> uh. hmm. Now that I got some fruitcake in my belly, it's time for cock. <laughs> Jason Daniel, I spent last week looking for some awesome stuff at antique stores. It'll be cool to see what they have by your work, Troy. Yes, it will be cool as long as I don't think all those head shops. The marijuana paraphernalia shops, don't they call those head shops? Don't they call them head shops? I have no idea what they call them. I was really hoping that that store today was would have like some like, I don't know, freaking astronaut ice cream and moon rocks and like weird crap like that. But I go in there's just like all these bongs all over the place. I'm like, boo. I have astronaut ice, ice cream on my bureau. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Get over here. No, I am not. Cap zone two. <coughs> oh, I forgot you're sick. Oh, poor baby. Don't cough at me. No, my nose will just jump on you. Cap is on two. Nice to see Phoenix back to his funny little self. Do you give him treats to do his tricks? Every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just see when I'm back to myself. Adam Owens, Elevator soundtrack I made. Please, if you want to use it, go ahead. Um, he has a link on there, guys, so feel free. Derek Wilper, that's my cousin. Happy birthday, Troy. Thank you. Adam Owens, haha, ha, Phoenix is so adorable. Of See? Of course he is. I know. I'm stealing this from her daughter, but if we were to have a baby, I'm pretty sure it would look a lot like that baby in there. Yep. Adam goes on to say, next year you should put a camera in the queue line and listen to what people are saying about your haunt to their friends. Like, oh man, this is the best haunt ever. Um, I did that. We we had an exit interview camera, and, and I'm not sure if you, you weren't aware of that, apparently. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, looking forward to hearing just a little bit from there. Jordan Winton, I would like to see the shops maybe one or two a week. Heck no, not Gatorade and tea at the <laughs> same time. Yuck. <laughs> the haunted house from Honey Boo Boo was... Perry Haunted Barn, I think. Uh, yes, and somebody else also confirmed the Perry Haunted Barn. And yes, Gatorade and tea at the same time just does not sound. <laughs> and the Christy Wow, are you going to sell the haunted bird houses again? Well, guess what? There's only one left. I there it is right there. I haven't made any more because they were, they were pretty hard to sell. Yeah, they. they well, yeah. Uh, and, and I put a lot of work into them. Yeah. Um, so that's the last one that we have right there. And, um, I made that when I was what? Uh, when I was still pregnant? Or yeah. Or was right after? No, you were still prego. I'm pretty sure. I think. I don't know. Oh, sorry, you guys are getting the shot of my nose here. So I'm looking at the birdhouse up there again. And then we've got this one over here. Oh, that one over there too. But anyway, so yeah. So are we going to sell that one this year? Try to sell it again? We'll bring it to West Coast maybe? I don't know. I kind of like it. I might want to keep it. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> on that note, guys, happy haunting. Troy has to get his ass to bed. Um, so, see you tomorrow. Happy haunting. She said it. Grr! Arr!